Um, so what you can see is that these trees are really the same color as these trees. And they're really the same color as the trees that you can very briefly see up here. Okay, so why are they different colors when we look at them in a landscape? They're different colors when we look at them in a landscape, but as things go farther back, they get bluer and lighter. Can you see that? So every time we go back, like I know we're working on a flat surface, so really we're just going up and down, but every time we go back, you'll see that these trees, which are all the same kind of trees, significantly change shape and color. Because back here, we see them as a mass. We don't really see them as individual things, except at the top. And back here, we can barely see them at all, except that they're on top of that mountain. So, um, so what's nice about this is how clearly this shows the plains, right? It shows the plains. Hey, Linda, I know you weren't here last week, so you need to start. Uh, uh, I sent across the WhatsApp thread the black and white with the basic shapes. You're going to want to start with an orange or a red underpainting. Uh, thank you. I was thinking that since I'm in last class, I would actually work on my own thing as I have a painting to finish that is kind of haunting me. Whatever you want to do works for me too, totally. And remember, Anna, you're going to want a big brush. And is this it? Is this the on? So, all right, well, we're going to finish. So, Ani, you and I are going to finish this. Can you send over where yours is so I can? Fine. All right. Send it over so I can take a look on WhatsApp. And Diana and Sandra, what are you working on today? Oh, I think the same old. Birds of Paradise. Sandra, what are you working on today? Uh, I'm going to start a new one today, probably a watercolor. A new rabbit? A new animal. I haven't a looked at We haven't decided. Yes. Oh, buddy. <laughs> and Linda, go ahead and send over what you're working on, too, if you want me to take a well we want to see it anyway and let me know if you want some advice. Yeah. Uh, I will. okay great oh. so now i think i really like the main shape. so really this is going to be about lightening everything we're going to do a little bit of work in the front here okay right anik and about yep. lightening but yep. also really paying attention to edges. Yeah. I know this edge is mm -hmm. sort of floating here. You may or yep. may decide that it's important to have it or, or not. And so the main mm -hmm. thing we're going to be working on are the graded things that get lighter and lighter as we go to the top. Also, this needs to be lighter in the back, and of course, this needs to be lighter in the front. So I'll start by working on this and this. And then um, I think you know what I mean. We'll we'll just keep going after that. But um, that's I think that's kind of where I see it. Does anybody want to show me where we're wrong? What if you do? Just give me a heads up. Good to see everybody, by the way. As it always. looks beautiful. It looks nice, right? It's a, well, yeah. it's a beautiful photo. It you does. can see here where I last week where my, I got my mountain too far to the right here. And so it's a little bit blue and green here because I had to cut it back with my orange. And the, obviously the paint was still wet. So you can see that one of the things I'm gonna be addressing this year, this uh, this time is how to fix that. Uh, the oh, other- So thing, you're doing oil? Is this oil painting? No, this is acrylic. Oh, okay. Thursday is always acrylic painting. Uh, Sunday is oil painting. Oh, okay. I, I mix them up. That's okay. I understand. <laughs> um, I'm trying to decide. I think we should get the water in first and then start working in the background. So um, once again, our ragged brush is going to be important here. Big one inch raggedy craft brush. You know, they start out looking like this in the package. So 
Hold on, I just want to double check and make sure I don't have anything to look at. Uh, and anybody who's working on anything else, you at any time can just tell me to look. Oh, the crane. Oh, that's coming a lot. It looks much better though. Yeah, but I really and don't like that. Work, and you need to push, uh, by the way, do not touch anything that's over. <laughs> don't touch that middle ground. <laughs> Sorry. Orange and the green that's to the left of the fence. And I and so you need to definitely get your lights into the shadow, the cast shadow, but also maybe soften the edge a little bit. Yeah. Um, where this, where that line that goes here, um, uh, where the dark line of the shadow meets the road. I think you want to stop in that just a touch. Yeah. Um, but it's looking great. And don't touch this middle middle foreground, the middle background, far away stuff. That orange no. and green, don't mess with that. Don't. Yeah, no, that uh, it's the only part I like, so. So you're going to be tempted, don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we are going to mix some dark, Blue, and I forget what we were using. This is the ultramarine. Well, do I have ultramarine? Let me check. I have two studio spaces now, so sometimes things get brought to the one studio and I don't bring them back. Hold on. I'm looking for ultramarine blue. Oh, don't tell me I don't have any of that. Okay, I don't have any ultramarine blue with me. Oh, no, yes, I do. There it is. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of ultramarine blue, some warm, and then a little bit of this Payne's gray. Prussian is kind of similar. So if you've got Prussian and not Payne's gray, that will kind of do a similar thing. This uh, Payne's gray is definitely a cool blue. When you add white to it, which I might as well. Do. It gets very gray. Yeah, it, it, and but it looks kind of bluish too. A lot more greenish. Here, I'll show you. I mean, don't be fooled into thinking you can use it as a gray. <laughs> it's definitely got more. It's a deep, rich. I don't use it as often because it's so cool. I don't really like it. Yeah, right. So it, it, it has its uses. Yeah, it has its uses, exactly. So you can see as it gets lighter, it gets kind of paler blue. Whereas if I add white to ultramarine, it's kind of, it's a totally different. This is almost lavender. Um, so it's good to have both. And then we're going to have a little bit of burnt umber, which reads a little like an orange. Believe it or not, you know, it doesn't look that much, but it, it functions the same way. So we want to have a little bit of, I'm mixing blue with brown to have a kind of nice dark. And then we, of course, want this kind of orangey light. So that we're going to get with cadmium red, yellow, cadmium yellow, maybe. There we go. And so mostly yellow you'll see and you don't need very much cadmium red to get an orange. And then a bit of white. And I'm going to take a tiny little bit of ultramarine blue and mix it in with my orange. 
And look at how little orange I need to get this kind of light bright. So we need both. And conceivably, we also need two brushes. I'm looking to see if I have one. Here's one of my massacred fan brushes. So here's my dark. So for you, Ani, because you've got so much dark, you're going to start by laying the light down a little bit darker in the center and see how I'm kind of, I'm working vertically. Ooh. That got too red. I want way more white. So I'm just blending white on top, right? So I want this side to be wet. And then this side, oh, that's dark, more light. So that I can kind of blend the edges. So that's how to deal with, right, with water these watery patterns, they're both wet. And I'm kind of blending one edge into the other. And it's okay if you get this little bit of gray. In fact, I'm gonna push this down so you guys can really see it. It's okay if you get these little bits of gray in here, like right here, because that's actually kind of what's happening in the source. And over here, I can see that it's kind of a light bluish. So I'm actually on the source. I have to go back so you can see this. So I'm actually taking my blue brush and adding more light to it. So I can also, and now I'm literally, I'm in my left hand, which is my non-dominant hand. So brushing in. So this is actually really fun. It can be kind of soothing. There's a few light streaks that get in here. I'm going to need to get, go back up with a little bit darker. Definitely here on this side, there's this lighter blue, which gradually gets sort of slightly darker. So see how I'm actually cutting in my orange with my lighter blue. And what's really happening is I'm getting a kind of grayish light color. And then I can add a little bit more dark. So it's all this back and forth. It's all soft edges and it's all this horizontal kind of mixing. Everything has to be wet. Everything's much darker up here. There's this kind of darker square. I'm actually using my finger here. So these edges are like hugely important. And then once I get that basic pattern of light to medium to dark, I'm kind of, I'm so almost hovering my hand. So I'm barely touching to scrape in a little bit more dark in places. I 
like a little too dark. So I can blend in some light. Because my paint is still wet, I can do a lot of this kind of lightening and darkening right on my canvas. Definitely it's lighter. There we go. But this is definitely a two, a double fisting kind of situation, double handed. Do we need to put all those rocks in? I'm not so, con eh, maybe a couple. I'll see how they look. Remember the rocks each have a dark and a light side. I'm kind of tapping in a little bit here, not really using the right brush. So I'm gonna grab a third brush in my hand. And it's kind of key, if you're gonna add these rocks in, I'm not convinced I like them. That you kind of look at how they're interacting uh, with the water. So what you can see if you look close enough in the picture is that it's dark here on the side and kind of lighter on the top. Do you guys remember when we painted these? And then there's a little bit of swirling kind of water around them. I don't know if you remember when we painted rocks. I don't need as much detail with these rocks in the back. But I do need to kind of incorporate them in. So once again, it's a similar kind of motion. I think that's a, I'm not even convinced I want this rock here. I'm cutting it back. It's a little bit dark, too big. Also, Not really sure it's served by the composition. I'm trying to darken it here. There we go. We'll see. We may, we may remove that. So did you find your animal, Sandra? Yeah, what you doing? She's on mute. I think she's on the phone. Uh, oh, sorry. I was talking, but I was on mute. Um, no, I'm just doing laundry, letting the cats out, letting the cats in. Oh, you're it's the cat of... servant this morning. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Luckiest cats. Uh, next week, we're going to start painting animals. We'll spend a little bit of time. We're gonna move through all the subjects more quickly because I wanna move you guys to faces and figures because we've never painted faces and figures. Um, but I do want us to review certain things and also some people are new, you know how it is. Oh good, I'm looking forward to animals. Yeah, just probably a month, but um, definitely we'll do fur, we'll do feathers. I might actually uh, try to paint um, with acrylic with you. Oh, that would be lovely. Um, and Ani, when you're ready to go, and, and Ana, when you're done with your underpainting, send it across so I can take a look at it. Oh, I started with the next layers, but I will send it. Okay, so you, yeah. Make, <laughs> let me take a look. 
Um, this is, I'm a little bit controlling at this level because I want to make sure your beginning is good. If your beginning is good, 80% of the painting is done. After that, I, I, I let, I, I can see it's easier for people to keep going. So I'll let you go. Anik, how's it going with the water? Are you having fun? No, I fucked it up completely. Actually, uh, don't like what I have, and and uh, the colors are are not what I wanted, and looks totally flat. So honestly, saying I need to wait until it gets dry, and um, I don't like it. Well, can I hold? Can you please hold it up so I can take a look? Right it's yeah. not much to look yeah. at. It's just All right, uh, so you don't have to wait till it's dry. You need to get some white on there right now. No, I need to uh, uh, find the right mixes because this is not what I want on this picture. And what it's too color orange. Are you working and, with? Uh, what color are you? I, I mean, I I used the um, cadmiums, and uh, this is not what I want on my picture. Honestly. So then try yeah. a quin with the cadmium. Um, um, no, I'm, 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 I don't have a, uh, I don't have a queen. I have, I have just alizarin. I have alizarin. So I'm going to go with alizarin. You know what this means. You need to get a couple more colors. If you want to work in cool colors, you need a queen or a, a permanent. I, the alizarin is not going to do everything you want it to do. I, I know, but unfortunately, my producer doesn't have those. I checked um, it, and and uh, it's for some reason it's it's uh it's not in the um, palette that they're they they're doing. Crimson. It might be called uh, crimp. You can maybe get a crimson. There's got to mm -hmm. be something that's pinker and bluer. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that one, that's fine. But there's got it. They, it's it's impossible that the artists of Gdansk have no access to a cool. No, it's it's just a um, producer that I'm using. Oh, and, then um, there's another producer. Uh, that's <laughs> have, most probably. I have that's five. Like when they don't have <laughs> colors. Um. Anyway, I'm gonna remove you off the spot. Yeah. Uh. Okay. And also notice that. Um, if your blue doesn't have enough brown or orange in it, burnt sienna or, or burnt umber, yeah, yeah. it will turn things to green. So that's also what's happening with that mix. Anyway, mm -hmm. um, there's things to be done. And then, Anna, I'm going to take a look at yours now. Oh, that's interesting, Diana. Okay, so Anna, uh, <laughs> a couple of things. Number one, your um, your underpainting isn't dark enough in certain places. So I'm going to here. I'm going to jump in. Also, are you still using that terrible rounded brush? <laughs> I mean, I did cut it up, and it's very messy. Right. Are you are, are you ordering more brushes? Yes. Okay, great. As long as you're ordering more brushes, I'm not going to give you a hard time. Diana, that looks really cool. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of areas where you need to get darker with your red. So hang on. And I have to edit on. So before you get crazy with the blues and your darks, I want, you know, need to be uh brown okay when you get to your dark layers well hang on we'll get there hold on let me take a look you're jumping ahead and i want you to know what you're doing so here you've kind of ignored this whole area here that's much darker the places that i've outlined is much darker and you don't have that. Number two, uh, the blue you're mixing. What color are you using for the mixes? Uh, you mean for the foreground? Yeah, for the so for the dark. Tell me what color you use. Colors you're using for the 
Uh, here, hold on. Now I'm going to need to paint. For the, for the darkest layer, it was yeah. green, red, yellow. Okay, uh, excellent. excellent. For the mid layer, I added a bit of blue to that. So blue, green, yellow, red. But, all right, well, then you're good. I mean, mostly blue. Uh, you're going to need a little bit of white in here as well. Uh, here, hold on. I'm going to point. Good job. Now that I'm impressed with. Very nice. Gosh, I'm sounding all dictatorial this morning. Here, hold on. Let me show you. So, yeah, this is good. Red and green and a bit of yellow to make that dark. This blue is lighter significantly. It's still dark, but it's lighter than what's happening here. So you need to add a little white okay. here as well, not too much. And then you'll use that same color with more white for this background. Yeah. Good job. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, then I'm just gonna wait. Diana, that's a what are you gonna do with the top layers? Have you decided? Uh, not quite. I'm going to see if I can make it work as deconstructive. So I think I'm going to have like the natural colors in it, but sort of in but the with half, those blues and pinks, those hot. Yeah, blues. and half abstract. So half abstract at least. I guess this is my first step in deconstructing. So nice. I like it. Okay, and I'm going to if I'm successful at it, but it's fun trying. It's totally fun trying. Absolutely. I'm going to take a bead uh, with what Anna's doing there and mix some green and some red together. And maybe a little bit of blue also to make a dark. And I'm going to come in and kind of while I'm waiting and maybe Ani, this is something you might want to do too. I'm mixing, I'm kind of reworking my darks here, my dark trees against my light background, my lighter, my sort of medium background, I should say. So I have a lot of um, red peeking through right now. I think I want a little less red. I'm just going over and layering. And notice once again, kind of tapping. So now my stuff, my, my trees start to look a bit more finished because I'm paying attention to those edges where those darker edges meet the lighter background. I can also see that this for me, that blue. So now I'm doing white. Too gray. I think I'm going to try the cobalt blue here in this back area. Get something slightly greener. into the mix. And I might also, I can't find, let's see. Yeah, that's better. Ugh. So this is not exactly the color. I'm add a little green in there and see what happens. And a little yellow. Ugh, that's not what I wanted. If I don't on this top layer, I don't remember what the colors we used for the last week were. Okay. So you'll notice this color, here I'll put it up, is not exactly the same color as what I mixed last week, that's okay. I'm just gonna put a bit of it everywhere. And I'm gonna be doing a little bit more dragging up. Into that background to get, I uh, Anik has this a bit better than I do right now. More distinct, right, how these, 
And I'm definitely using the wrong brush for this. So I'm going to squeeze out the extra water and there we go. It's amazing how important the tool is. And I'm also going to bring down this kind of medium back into the edge of my trees a little bit more because these are in the front so we can see a little bit more of the sort of sides a little we're not going to exactly see sky holes but we're going to see more of that there we go uh, still not entirely happy with it, but ultimately this will be fixed. By carving out my lights. You can see as I kind of I'm creeping up my mountain. It's easy to kind of push over farther than you want to be into the next layer. Uh, I'm also going to drift a little bit of this color into my um, dark areas, bluish areas of my water. Because if it's back there, it'll be up here. And now, I'm using a kind of slightly thinner brush. And this one is kind of more clean. So I'm covering it. With the lighter in. Try not to make things too stepping stairs or too even. I'm using my finger to kind of blend in here. Now I've got to come in on the other side. So really, I'm uh, so Anik. While you're waiting for things to dry, you can totally work your edges up here. If you want to, I'm using the corner of this stiff brush. I'm gonna wait till that dries. And then notice because I mix this a little bit lighter, it kind of automatically is a little bit lighter towards the tree line than it is towards the top. I might even drift in a little bit of this light blue. Ooh. By the way, it's okay to sort of um, realize in the middle of something, ah, I don't exactly have the right colors or the right tool, right? Because as long as you write it down and figure out what it is you need. This tree line obviously came up too high, so I'm gonna wait until this dries. And I guess while I'm doing that, I will take one of my raggedy brushes. 
that's my raggedy fan down here since I've got some of the green. So I'm just kind of going around and looking at where Here I can work an edge. Things are a little bit too light here. It's coming along, they're coming along. Anybody have any interesting news? No. What's the no news? Except no news is good news, I guess. Yeah. I'm just happy that I'm uh, working again. <laughs> we are happy that you're working again, too. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, that was worrisome. I'm back on track. Yay. I'm glad to hear that, Diana, because I was wondering Thank how are you? Me too. Thank you. Very worrisome. I appreciate it. Right. I think I saved it. At least I, it's not that terrible as it was. I'm going to send a picture. Oh, I'm so messy today. Diana, you want to tell everybody who your headliner is going to be for your December gala? Uh, yeah, I just booked Ava DuVernay yesterday. So that was good. But it will, it will not be announced until June, I guess. Mm. Your secret is safe. Yeah. 
But it's always good to book something early. Now it's just booking for June. You have who are you asking for June? Well, I'm asking Oprah, but I'm not counting on getting her. <laughs> That's another long game. Yeah, it's another long game. Yes. Well, just keep painting, you guys. I presume if like you're ready, if you have a question, I've, I'm not exactly going to jump ahead here yet because I want to wait for things to dry, but everybody's kind of at different stages here. So as you're working, just let me know if you have questions and I will help. Otherwise, I'm going to trust you're all in your... I've sent mine on the WhatsApp. I don't know if it looks better. I, I'm, How do you feel? I, hope so. I feel I feel I like more this um, pinkish orange than than yellowish orange or reddish orange on this. Oh yeah, that's good. How'd you get that? It's alizarin with a bit of white, a tiny bit of um, what's its name, um, burnt amber, and uh, simply yellow medium. Cadmium yellow. Good, a little pad yellow medium with those. So mm -hmm. yeah, so now get in some white. Now that you've got the colors, you're gonna need to drift in some whites on top, right? Mm -hmm. uh, better, Anna. Good. That's looking good. Very nice. Very nice. Hey, can I ask for yeah. the sky? Which did you just mix like orange and red and white? Uh um, do you remember what we mixed? <laughs> you remember what we mixed? Yeah, I mean, it's essentially an orange yeah. with a lot of um, white in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, it gets kind of orangier. Let me try, let's try it right now. How's that? Um, I'm gonna try. You know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to wash my brushes. So maybe do that first, Anna, and I'll meet you back here and we'll talk about this guy. All right, there comes a point where when you're working with too many blues, everything, your water will become gray as you try to mix oranges. All right, so we're gonna try a couple of different things. To me, this seems like a cooler orange. So I'm actually gonna try quinacridone red. If you don't have that, maybe a crimson. So Anik, you're gonna probably work with your, if you're not, I'm gonna put this over here like this. And then a touch of yellow. So Anik, essentially what you figured out for your water is gonna be similar to what you do with your sky, as you probably know, but whiter and a little bit brighter. I'm gonna try, Mixing. Monocridone red, which is a cool red, yellow, and a lot of white. Much more red. And actually, I need to kind of cut my... Oh, that's not too bad. See how my tree line got too big? So I'm going in... Pulling it down. So I'm finding that this is working pretty well. As I go up, I'm going to want more white. And I'm going to want, so I'm adding more white into here. 
and kind of blending it in to meet this darker orange edge. Can you see how I'm coming? I'm bringing my whitened orange right up to that darker orange that's at the base. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna sort of softly blend that in. I can usually do about three strokes of the lighter into the darker before I have to go back and get more light on my brush. So I want it to be oranger. And even now I'm like, oh, I want it a little bit oranger and darker. See how I'm pulling in a little bit more dark. And then once again, I'm going to blend in some kind of light on top. I'm doing a soft blend. Now, of course, on my cliffs, the edge can be much harder. So I can do that trick of, I'm now using a brush with a little bit of a cleaner edge. I'm loading the brush with paint and I'm pulling away. If you're not having that much control over your brush. I'm also noticing I've got a lot of red, I've got a lot of red on this side. So my my paint is, so I'm gonna to need to get more white. I'm cleaning out my brush so there's not so much red. There we go. Yep. And see, I'm using this. Actually, what's really happening, and I can see it now that I'm looking, is the sky is getting slightly grayer, which means it's still orange, but it's got a little blue in the orange. So it's lighter. So I'm pulling in little tiny bits of blue into my sky up here. And I'm also really working this edge so I see that little bright orange glow. Mm, not bad. I'd like it to come up a little higher. So see, I'm bringing it up a little higher. Every time you kind of move something up or down on a soft edge like this, You've got to redo the edge. So they, you've got to redo it a little bit. It's getting better. I'm also, once again, going to drift some of this color into my water. So everything as I add it up into the sky also gets a tiny little bit uh, kind of dry brushy added in down here. So that every time you add a color, it's reflected in the water in some way. Yeah, a little bit better. This is a really cool painting, isn't it? Uh, photograph, isn't it? It is. It leads to a nice painting. Ay, ay, ay. I'm going to stop for just a minute. Is that helpful, you guys? Or is that like, did I do that too fast? 
there's a lot of back and forth that's happening. So try it yourself. And if you're missing a step or forgetting, don't forget, you know, of course, ask me. Hmm. Very Galani, starting to come along nice. Very nice. Yeah, nice. the water looks way better. <laughs> so things are a bit dark, right? So now you're going to be blending in lights over here, light blues, sort of gray blues coming in over here. Really, the mm. only dark part is here at the top. Yeah. Yeah. Continue to look. Yeah. Now the other thing that's happening, so notice I'm only really switching brushes from these heavy duty, um, uh, heavy duty scratchy ones to these flatter ones that have more control is when I'm kind of working minor edges, smaller edges. So over here, There we go. I'm trying to clean this up a little bit. I'd maybe like to add in. Oh, that's not dry yet. Can't do that yet. And I still have to be careful. My edges stay soft. Definitely there's a light blue glow. Oh, I touch too light. Right. Now I have to get darker. Darker here. There is this neat, one of the things that really is nice about this is this beautiful little lighter blue glow around the edge of this back, on top of the edge of this back tree line. So I'm trying to maintain that. There we go, bring you down. That's what I need to do. Uh -huh. And now I feel like I've got my tree line under control. This is still wet, so I'm going to wait. Maybe we use thalo. Did we use thalo? Maybe we use thalo in these dark blue. I bet that's what we did. <laughs> Darn, now I'm remembering. We did. If you have, uh, Anna, a little bit of phthalo blue, it's got a nice greenness to it that will kind of recreate this turquoise. And I'm gonna try and fix it up a little bit. Blue. With I don't have that. Okay, I need to get this one. Look at this. This is this beautiful, I'm gonna grab a little bit red. <laughs> Yep. Oh no, maybe I do actually. I thought it, yeah, I was reading Azul. Kind of, yeah, a little tube of it. It is normally kind of a crazy, hard to control color, but it does have that little nice extra kick of green that's really happening here. Oh, yeah. So I'm bringing that kind of over the top layers because I didn't have it. My face. Mm. 
going way too crazy with all of it. Seeing, I'm, seeing as I'm kind of playing with colors and adjusting, you can see that I'm laying on a lot of darker colors that I then need to mute lighter or lighter colors I need to make darker. You can see that I'm kind of quickly grabbing light to lighten things. If I do it fast enough, my paint's still drying. So I can just kind of blend it in. And then on the top here, I can take a little bit more dark and blend in the soft. I can even use my finger. So it gets a little bit darker towards the top edge. There we go. Notice that if I leave kind of noticeable marks with my brush, that it's very observable. You can see it even from far away. Things like think think it's one thinks it's kind of nothing. I once was commenting that like if you're gonna, I told a student if you're gonna leave a mark on your painting, you better know why you're leaving it there because people will see it and they will wonder what's going on. She wasn't a painter, so she didn't really understand what I meant by that. Kind of thought, oh, you can go this way, you can go that way, right? But we see every mark, particularly between a, dark, a, a darker and a lighter area. Oops, just that here. I like this little hill back here because it shows an even farther plane. There we go. That's nice. And once again, stay low. Bring in a little bit of that light and phalo over, over my reflections too. Because really, what are these, but what's happening here? Slightly darker version, but all those colors are in there. Nice. That is looking good, Oni. Really good. Good save. <sighs> <laughs> She's like, I don't want to change my palette. Don't make me change my palette. However, get yourself a little, it would be, you do need to, you do deserve it. A couple of extra colors just to give you a little bit more range. You know what I'm saying? There we go. Yep. Give it, give it to yourself. You deserve it. You work hard. Spend that money. Oh yeah, now this <coughs> painting is starting to look better. Yellow blue is definitely helpful. And look at how far I pushed this up. Look at how much I kept bleeding one. So if you're doing the same thing, don't feel bad about this. This is a totally, I did it like 20 times. I just covered it up quickly because I saw that I was doing it. It's very easy. I've, I've had to carve back each of these planes because I, made whatever I was working on too big. Anybody else want to send what they're what they're doing now or hold it up either way? Let me know. Linda, how's it going? <clears throat> uh, I can hold mine up. It's not looking good, but it's looking interesting. I'm just the base. Oh, it is looking interesting. I'd say it's on the verge of looking good. It's looking better than you would think, but I like it. It's kind of, I think this is moving the direction you want it to. 
I like it. Well, I think it looks better than you think, but I understand why you're like, ah, because you haven't got it to where you want it to go yet. No. There's this whole thing, right, guys, about how... Oh, and you know what's interesting? There's a little, like, slightly lighter green. It's still dark, but it's got a little bit more yellow in it. So I am going to see if I can mix in. I've got Viridian green here. We've got red to make a dark color. So I'm mixing Viridian green with red. Maybe adding a teeny touch of yellow, just a little bit. To get a little bit lighter. Nope, that was crazy. Way too light. There are some kind of lighter greens. Huh. Look at a little bit of ah! <laughs> a little bit of light goes a long way. All right, here, here, hold on. Let me fix that first. I somehow had. I wasn't talking about that. Yeah, get that dark again. But notice if you look closely at this picture and you have it on the thread, if you want to, I can pull it down a little bit farther. There's kind of slightly lighter grasses that are on the banks that are interacting with these dark trees. In fact, a a little bit of grass is also coming into the water. So you're still going to mix your green with red, but maybe also a touch of yellow in a few places. And see how this very subtly, like there's a kind of light. Streak here. Kind of some dark. Now this definitely has red in it. It does not, it's not just green. But it's showing some of those. Variations. What I realized once I've seen that is that there is a bit of dark, 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 dark on the bank down here. So I'm kind of adding that in below the lights. And it curves a little bit. It's not exactly straight across. It kind of comes down a little bit, goes up actually comes down into the water a touch. Hello, buddy. You want to say hi to the peoples? So can you see that? I'm going to put it down. Can you all see that? And then as I'm working it, I'm looking at what's happening. The water, the water's kind of actually a bit brighter. Kind of around the edge of the bank, right the way little. Same here, with some bright. A little bit more to the leaves. Yep. 
these are super subtle touches. The big problem kind of runs in when we try to add them too quickly. Because as you can see, at every stage, I've kind of made things too big. Areas too big. So if I try to add in these touches too soon, they'll take up kind of too much space. So this is basically just the yellow, blue, and white. And I'm really just working in a kind of not solid, lightish line. the sort of lighter edge of the water as it kind of rubs up against this little island. If I wanted to, I can get a little bit of this down here as well. And then we're going to use that trick we did for meadow grasses. To kind of work this front area. So right now I'm using a brush that looks like this. I have almost no water on it and I'm very lightly touching. Yeah, that looks good. Anybody want to see Hermes? Here's Hermes. He's jumping up to say hello. Here he is. So where's my god aunt, Sandra? Where's my godmother? Sandra doesn't know it, but she's sort of my uh, Hermes's unofficial godmother because she understands him so well. Here he is, Sandra. Here he is. He's. Aww. He is so cute. He really is a good boy. Yes, you are. Uh, sorry, Lee, I didn't realize I was on mute. Yes, he was, was smiling at you. Him and everything. Does you. Do you uh, let him out with the other cats? Oh, yeah, he goes out. He's oh, really cool. good friends with, uh, boy, you know, Bazoo now, you know, the, the stray. They're quite good friends. That's very nice. Yes, they're so cute. They're really it's kind of ridiculous how cute they are. So ask me if you want me to repeat kind of what's happening down here, these little details I added in. I added in some green and red and a touch of yellow. And in fact, I think I'm going to take a picture of this. So hang on. I'm going to turn off my video. No, how do I do that? There we go. Okay, I don't want to make you all dizzy. I'm going to take a couple pictures of this up close so you can see what it looks like. I think these aren't details that. Oh, yeah, I think that's looking so great. It really is. Um, okay, so I'm going to do this. You can kind of see. It looks a little bit brighter. Well, I guess it just depends on what the light is. I know I feel like my camera always kind of yellows things a little bit. So there you go. So here's kind of some of this detail work. So you can see what it looks like up close brush stroke wise. As always, this is basically, it's all about, don't do that. It's all about like edges. I, we started with working the bigger edges, getting those colors right. Now we're working on this kind of finer detail where one light edge meets another. Here, up here, from here to here from here to here, these little tiny mid dark mid tones that are in here in this section, right? They're slightly lighter than what's happening in the front and the back with those trees, but they are definitely there. And everybody I know is also finding their own solutions as you're watching me find mine. So that's good too. 
Um, part of this should just sort of happen as you're playing. I'm using four different brushes, which is kind of unusual. Mostly we're working with, with my big old raggedy brush. What are you doing? Oh, for God's sakes. What are you doing? Let me stop. There's tiny bits of like light green here. Not too much, just little tiny bits right here. I put too much in, it really looks bad really fast. Come here. What are you doing? Got my water, Sunny. Okay, Sonny, you stay out of this. How's everybody doing here? Let's see. Let's see somebody sent theirs across. Three. Okay. Anna. Oh, very nice, Anna. Coming along beautifully. Uh, you want to lighten this it's a little bit more white and phthalo blue. Can you see how it's kind of too much the same value as this? Okay. Yep. Very nice. Good catch up. Excellent. Ani Kajur is going along. Good. I'm not going to make you send a picture of it unless you feel like you want to. Great. 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 When you guys are ready, let's, we'll review. Actually, let's do this right now just because here we are and there's some green. So if you'll remember our little technique for doing wildflowers in the front. I'm going to grab 
or at wild grasses, because this is gonna, I think this is why I picked this, right? So I'm, which is this. I'm gonna grab a little bit of green and some yellow, touch of yellow, right? Uh, really loading up my brush with green and yellow. And then I'm gonna be doing ah, too much green and yellow. Then I'm gonna be here. Nope, this is not the right brush to use. My old reliable. Here we go. All right. My uncontrollable little bristle. So I'm gonna go pretty dark at the beginning with this. But right, I'm going this way, that way. I have to keep going back in because I, after about two strokes, Oh, that's much. Um, can you see in the area where I've got too much yellow? That my green looks very unnatural, so I'm going over that with dark. It's funny, it does not look problematic where the green kind of, oh yeah, that's problematic here. I might actually pull that off and start again. You see how I just took my little piece of cloth and I ran it off, and now I'm going to get a little blue on there. And go right back in, cover it up. Dry once it dries. So I have no problem with uh, totally going, oh, I messed that up, too green, too blah, 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 too this. Do that. I can go right back in, cover everything up. These little whitish blue layers, the really bright ones, we kind of add on at the very end. Careful not to do them in too many places, but. In certain places, it helps. So we gradually get these kind of lighter and lighter highlights in. That dries, and I'm going to try that again. Ma uczulenie. Let's see, Anik, I wanted to see where you're at. We've still got 35 minutes, so we've got plenty of time. Plenty of time to work this. Oh yeah, there you go. Coming along nicely. Anik, you do need to get a little bit, a touch lighter in this phase. 
touch lighter. Yeah, I mean, I haven't touched even the forest and the, and the mountains today, so. Okay, got it. You're so busy working on this. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah. Got it. I got it. I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it today, honestly. Say. That's okay. But you can always, anybody can always, by the way, come to class on Sunday or even Saturday and finish whatever we're working on. You're welcome to come. No, these are looking good. Oh, so stretcher, stretcher. Oh. That means, yeah. Good boy. Hello. Here. Oh. Can you hear that? Mm hmm. Listen to that. Here we go. There's a little. It's a happy boy. He's a happy boy. Oh, come on. You can do it. Jump up. You know how to jump up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, there he is. Mm, we're not seeing him. Oh, wait, you can't see him? Can you see him? No. no. Your, your picture is static. Oh, we've lost a picture. Yeah. All right, popped off for a second. Now I'm coming back on. Here is this. Here. And now we see you. Here he is. See, look, he's just sitting on my lap. Oh, sweet. Aww. This is the old, the, the other boy, right? This is the, um, this is the, the straight. This is fantastic. Yeah, it is. I, I know. Mean, you've completely young, changed young. his life, Leah. I'm so happy. Yeah, he's, um, he's mine now. He's like, look, he actually like, can you see he's like kind of hugging me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a sweet boy. He really is a good guy. He really is a little good boy. Here, hold on. Sorry, I'm going to add the spotlight in again. Sorry. Yes, I just wanted you to see. Oh, 
He's so cute. He just wants to sit here all day long. Like if he had his way, they all are like that a bit. This is so sad. I wonder what happened to him. Was he abandoned or was he born astray? Or? I think he was born astray. He really acts like he was born astray. Yeah, but at the same time, he's, you know, they usually stay wilder than that. Some do, but you know, Muka, who is, you know, my my little queen, she was born at the same time as all. Some of them just have the personalities to be tamed. And uh, like Muka was one of several feral kittens and she was the only one that liked people. And she just did from the beginning. It's interesting. I know. So I've noticed personality wise, there's a certain type of cat that even if they were raised astray can become, mm -hmm. they, tr they like people more. I don't know what that's about, but it's definitely Maybe because their parents were not. Uh, but you know, not strays. No, I don't think so. I don't think that was it. Because her other, her definitely, her family was Muka's family was all strays, and uh, let's see, and um, and and I everyone it's the, acted stray except for her. I guess it's the previous life, you know. Yeah, maybe. Previous life, she was this <laughs> And this one I remember very specifically. He was coming around um, one morning uh, early in the studio. He came and he looked in my studio window and Hermes was inside and they looked at each other like they kind of looked out the window and looked at each other. And I could see this guy trying to figure out what was going on. He was like, like can I move in? I, he was like, what is this? What is this whole life? He didn't even get it. You know, for him, it's like, he's like had to learn how to, what it is. But he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yes, you are. And I don't think he'll let anybody else but me do this right now, but um, he'll let other people let him. That That is how it is with Julia. She's your kitty. Yeah. All right, let's see, Anna. I want to take a look at what you got. Sorry, little cat interlude there. No, it's good. We so like good. it. We like it. Like oh, Linda, that's coming along nicely. Very nice. I'm trying to decide if your shadow should get a little darker towards the back. Oh, very nice, Anna. Very nice. So now it's just a question of, so right now, Anna, I see a little bit of undulation happening here, right? So I want you to look at this area. What's really happening is the bank is kind of going like that at a slight diagonal down. And I'm gonna sketch it in so you can really see it. Then I want you to here. So it's like, here's the bank here. Right, that's the kind of shape of the bank. And right now you're kind of going a little like this, right? Mm -hmm. So now you want to actually, it isn't straight. This is higher than here, if you can see, right? This part is higher than this part is, but you want to pay attention to that shape. And what you really want to be doing is looking at what's happening in the transition between one to the other. So now you want to get your dark out. And here I'll take a picture of this. So the first thing I'm going to do here, hold on. I'm going to take a picture of this. So you can see that undulation kind of happening. And I'll send it across the thread. But then you should look at what's actually, and Anik, this will be for you too, right? Because now you're getting into kind of details here. Um, look at the very, the picture from, I'm pulling the picture from the beginning without any markings on it. So you can see, it's 
here. Look at that picture from the beginning to see what's kind of how this is, what's kind of happening where that bank meets that river. I am not particularly liking how my <clears throat> Frank is meeting my my background, so I'm kind of bringing this in and darkening. Uh, so, Leo, would you say to bring back the first? dark shade well yeah yeah part of it dark and light right i mean like bring the dark down rather than the light up or something well there's no i mean you're already too far up so yeah you have to bring the dark. you have to bring the dark down can you see that uh yeah i just don't have my dark shade anymore so we better get cracking. <laughs> You've got time. There you go. It's always good to have a bit of that dark shade. Well, this is very, very weird. We'll see if the, and anything comes of it, but it's it's still fun. I'm gonna send it where I'm okay. at. I also send mine where I'm at now. Okay, get a chance to look at it. I'm just fixing this. So I like the transition better. Sorry, now I'm getting a little obsessive. Hold on, you know how it is. Just a second. There we go. A little better. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, yeah, Diana, that's coming along. And Ani, very nice. So, Ani, you've got to get your lights in. Uh -huh. lights, right? Um, yeah. It's so, very heavy and dark around here. It's much lighter here. So I would start by working your water and really lightening that water. Mm -hmm. Right, particularly and yeah. in, in, in paying attention to how it meets this bank. Mm -hmm. It's a, it's heavy, and this is a little heavy too. And in fact, maybe carve this your little embankment here down a little bit by putting a little bit of lighter blue. It's mm -hmm. a little, yeah. Can you see how it's kind of a little too high and chunky? So I would nip it down with your blue. Yep. And your orange. Yep. Very nice. Yeah, it's just about edgies. Edgy, you know. That's looking cool, Diana. It's really funky. It's funky. I don't know. What I like it that the little pieces are all kind of separated. Yeah. But I tried to and then simplify the forms. Yeah. Um, but I'm not totally happy. I think that I'm never one... really totally happy. <laughs> no, no, but I mean it's it's funky, but it's I think it needs more. It needs something. Let me. Yeah, it up. needs no more defined. I can see a little bit what it needs, but I'm gonna. I'm going to do that one now. Are any of the pieces that Lotto sent you recently uh, helpful in this regard? I know he's sending you other artists' work a lot to give you ideas. Yeah, he does. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's fun. It's fun. I mean, it gets... Is anything helping? I, so yeah, of course it is. Of course it is. Of course it is. He, 
he is pushing me hard. I'll tell you that. Yeah, I bet. So take a look at my point is take a look at those and see if there's anything that solves the problem that way. Yeah. Solves the problem in a different way that you might be able yeah. to adapt. I don't know. I, I see one thing I need to know, do there. I mean, I need to do something about the whole blue purple area, area, but I also see the green thing being weirdy, weird. weird. So. <laughs> it, it's all weird, but it's I've I've never I've never done things like this before, so it's not. So it's good, yeah, it's good to like, yes. And that feeling of like, I don't really know what's going on has as much to do with just pushing to the next place. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's good at that. He's good at pushing. He's kind of a lot of remembers a lot of what he reads. Yeah, he, yeah. 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 He's got one of those memories. Yeah. He made me buy a book uh, to look at the world differently. That's called Camera Lucida. Is that some of your requirements? Oh, the David Hockney book? No. Uh, it's Camera Lucida. Camera Lucida. It is. Why? I don't remember the order I bought. You don't it. have it with you there to show us? Um, I, well, it's not the book that she's talking. I have a book by David Hawkins. No, I'm talking to Diana. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. You have it, Diana? It, it's, yeah, I haven't received it yet. It's oh, Roland, okay. Roland Barthes, Camera Lucida. Interesting. Yes, I've heard about yes. it. Roland is interesting. <laughs> That's for sure. Yeah, have you read him? Have fun. A uh, long time ago, is um, it was one of the um, you know, I read a lot of philosophy, psychology, and stuff like that because I studied literature yeah. and uh, existentialism stuff like that. So, so honestly, saying Barth was there yeah. among the readings. It was it's interesting experience. So you're gonna have fun, Diana. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell us more or are you just gonna no us? because i don't remember much more i most of the things that you I just remember, remember he was a bit impressions. of a weirdo hmm? i mean majority of the people that i read it was they were weirdos honestly but in a good way <laughs> yeah, so so honestly i um i read um mori pontiac um philosophy um, books to write my thesis the master one so it was about for instance body that you had but you don't feel anymore or you feel it but you but you don't have it so uh, oh, so like people have like been that. maimed you so mean like your ex yeah ex yeah you're really yes yeah, so that what do they call that that um the phantom uh, of, of a leg, for instance, yeah, and, and the things that uh, sim simply is, um, I, uh, um, as a 20 year old, I had the fascination in uh, surrealism and, um, and expressionism in everything that from literature through cinema, paintings, everything, all art like that. So, yeah. That is fantastic. It's fantastic that you read it and we're all going to talk about it once day. Maybe we so, should start a book club. <laughs> that's just so it's not a bad idea. <laughs> Maybe we should all read it and then we can talk about it. Camera Lucida? Hmm? Yeah. Tempting. <laughs> uh, I'll read it. I'll see if I can get it in the library. Yeah. Probably, I mean, it wasn't expensive to buy. It it was like fourteen bucks on on Amazon. I think it was yeah, yeah fourteen dollars. That's that's a deal. Honestly. For somebody who's gonna blow your mind. <laughs> Let's see. I'm 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 interested. I'm actually curious if 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 if, if it's gonna be the case. I'm really curious what you're going to th think about it, Diana. All right, then let's, uh, okay, so if anybody else, I will commit to reading that book too. 
at least looking at it a little bit. All right. I'm going to see if I can get it also. Okay, yeah. Actually, it makes it my life easier, and so I uh, so I should say thank you, Diana, because I, I have this plan to read every now and then, a, or rather, at least once a year, a book that or I skipped during my studies, or I should come back to. Okay. So, perfect. <laughs> well, very nice. Coming, coming, uh, getting there, Anna. So I'm feeling a little bit like there's a bit of too much solidity. I like your edges on your water, but do you feel it's kind of a solid mass? Each mass is kind of a little too heavy. So I feel now, the more I add to it, the less I like it. Yeah. So here's the thing. Watch, 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 watch. So here's the thing. So you're gonna at this point now, it's time to get a couple of. So I have kind of a white, whitish color on the edge of my brush. I'm also, oops, too much. Don't make it too wet. You want it to be really dry. I'm, scri I'm scrubbing that over kind of, it's too wet here, hold on. It's drier. I want it to be drier, so less water on the brush. So see how I'm using, I'm kind of pulling that across. So it kind of spreads between all three layers, but it doesn't cover. It's a very uneven line. Yep. Now, here, and then I went too dark there, so I'm gonna, too light there, so I'm gonna go back in with some dark. My dark is gonna be there, so I'm bringing in dark. Right. So I can go back in if I want to, but really this white, these white streaks, and Ani, this is for you too, is kind of the unit, there are these uneven white streaks also going horizontally that are the unifying feature because they pull over into the orange, they spread through into the blue. They're the little ripples of waves, right? The little white part of the waves. And so they leave a little bit of lighter color, but they help obscure these heavy uh, lines between light, medium, and dark. The other thing that I did, which I figured out towards the very end, is that this sky is actually kind of a blue gray above the orange so i mixed a little bit of orange and my blue and white together i mixed a little bit of blue into this orange color added more white and sort of um circled that on top a little bit like this almost a circular i still want it and i took my finger and kind of popped the edges Oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna have to leave you guys because my shift is starting in 10 minutes. All right. Uh -huh. I'll, I'll show you what I was doing. Please yes, do please Let me prop you up. Hold on, let me find you here. Uh give me a second, Sandra. I want to find okay. you. I'm having dang it, get let me get my mouse. Hold on. Um Okay. Oh, I don't know it's in it's in construction. I'm calling it. Yeah, hold on, hold on. I like to see your stuff when it's in construction. It's um all right, hold it up now. Oh very uh, nice. It's a gorilla. Super wow. beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's gonna be perfect. Super. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <I don't> <laughs> but for now at least it's 
it's okay it's on the way i like your happy face that's your that's your your happy with the way things are going face i like that <laughs> it's not been ruined yet so we've so got see you guys tomorrow all right uh, oh no not tomorrow Saturday. maybe diana tomorrow we'll see yeah let's, yeah let's do it okay cool let's do it okay bye guys bye. See you Boy, that came along nicely. Yeah, I uh, we've, we've got another 10 minutes. Let's work them. Let's work it. Let's see what I we can do in I these figured, 10 minutes. I think I figured out what I need to do. Cool. Can you explain it? I can. I don't know if it shows on the picture, but I've drawn lines where there are going to be sections. I don't know if it shows. Mm -hmm. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. I show. can see it. I can see it. Yeah. yeah. So I, to make a geometrical pattern. I like it. An even geometrical pattern. I like it. I think that's working out great. Yeah. So then it's just a question of cho of choosing the colors. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, I think that's going to work out. So at least I know where to go. Yes. Uh, yeah, I think I think so. But it's fun. It's I mean, it's a completely different kind of problem solving. It is. It's compositional, but it's not yeah. so. Sorry, it's compositional, but it's not so. Uh, but it's it's more abstracted yeah idea yeah and you know i've i've never geared toward this <laughs> ever before so it's fun oh that's good it's fun and strange i think my dog needs to go out in a minute yeah Exactly. I'm trying to add a little bit more. Leah, well, I just sent where I'm, I, where I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, hold on. Give me one second. And I'm right there. If you can see, I'm trying to kind of pop up this area. Okay. Let us see. Okay, uh, this is looking really almost done. The only thing I'd like to see you do is to pull down Right now, you've got this area pumping up like this. I want you to water. I want you to cut that back. Yeah, like yeah. Look at this. Look at the shape. But you can see Anna's right above you on the thread. Mm -hmm. It kind of yeah. comes up like that thread. And you need to get a little bit of that same lighter dark green, that dark midtown green that you've got in here. That's going to be your grasses. But you really need to fix that shape. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it's looking great. All right. So nip Thank this you. down. So you have this thing going. Nip it down dramatically. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's getting in the way because it's not doing anything and mm -hmm. and it's taking up too much space. Okay. Cut it in half, really. All right. There you go. Very fun, you guys. Good job, Anna. Good job catching up. Very nice. You were a little bit speedy today. I I'm going to leave it. I'm not I'm not venturing into any more detail. 
<laughs> I think that's good. It's always good to know you might do it later, but you do not have to do anything more right now. Excellent. Great job. Get yourself a beer <laughs> you look, or a glass of wine. You deserve it. You earned it. You get you got yourself fast. I'm very pleased that you I want to tell you what I'm really pleased about. I'm pleased that you did not bring any black paint into the mix. I'm glad that you automatically went to your red, yellow, green mix to mix your dark. Uh, I think your shapes are really your values and your shapes are really good. You did good with your brushes. So very nice. I think you should feel really proud of yourself. Thank you. Do you? <laughs> I liked it about half an hour ago. Now I would right, say now you're just like, just get away from it. <laughs> Definitely. I'm yeah. going to hang on for another five minutes. I want to see if uh, Ani can pull out back that thing and then we'll stop class. And Linda, I don't know where she is, but uh, we're getting ready to. Oh, there you are. And in fact, I'm going to remove the spotlight so everybody's just in. So I can see you all equally. Hold it up, Anna. And in fact, let's uh, all hold ours up right now. Okay, fix it, Anik, and then we'll have you hold it up. We're all gonna pull them up at the same time. Wherever we're at, Linda, that's you too. You need to take your blur off. I can't oh, see. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hold it up, Linda. <gasps> Oh, Were yeah. They beautiful. What a fucking productive. <laughs> yeah. Hours. Don't you feel proud, people? Yeah. Yeah. But I got the base painting. Diana, that's cool as hell. And you're going in the right direction with the solidity of the geometric pieces of the background. It's very nice. It looks a little bit like the bird of paradise has gone, ah. you know, like, <laughs> like big, I'm big thinking that. I'm ah. thinking that. Oh my God, you guys, spectacular work today. Bravo, bravo, bravo. As usual, I want to thank you all. Thank you for letting me teach you. It is such a pleasure and a privilege in every class. I'm like kind of blown away by what you do and your progress and uh, your dedication and your commitment it's just such a pleasure i feel so honored uh and the last thing i'm going to say is i'm going to try and read that book so diana can you forward it a copy of that book across the thread yeah so that we can all read it and we'll have a book club as we do our paintings all right guys take care you. Thank you. so you know send stuff across. Bye. Bye. Bye.